I decided to become a teacher when I was actually on my trip in Africa. Um, we played soccer over there, and and after one of the games, I decided to give my shirt to a little kid who was on the sideline, and he was juggling the soccer ball. He looked he was, he looked like he was pretty good. So I gave him my shirt, um, got back on the on the little bus that we were on, and I turned around and and some grown men were, were beating him up. I mean, like punching him, kicking him, um, to take the shirt away from him. And so at that moment, that's when I realized I needed to help students. Uh, I needed to help children. I, I always, I grew up and I thought I wanted to be rich. I wanted to, to work in the stock market. I was gonna make all kinds of money. And I was gonna come back to my neighborhood and I was gonna see little kids walking to school and I was gonna give them money. Like, oh, here you go, kid. You know, go buy some shoes, go buy some clothes, give some money to your parents. You know, like, I, uh, that was what I thought growing up. Um, but after that day in Africa, I realized that if, if, I, were, if I were to, to work in the stock market and, and, I, and I was able to, to give money to, to kids or families, um, that's all it would be is money. Um, and, and, we all know that money comes and goes, and and I feel like being a teacher, you you get you can help mold students into mature um, young adults, and 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 help them um, learn and and have knowledge, and that's something that nobody can ever take away from you. Nobody can ever can ever beat that out of you. A role model in my life definitely has to be my father. Um, just seeing him wake up every day to go to work in the morning. Um, he not not really saying much. He didn't really he he didn't really say like, "Listen, look, I'm going to work in the morning." You know, he didn't he didn't he wasn't like that. He just kind of did his thing and went to work and had food on the table, had a roof over our head. And and by me seeing that and growing up, that that has helped me um, to become the person I am as far as work is concerned. Like, I want to be the best at what I do. Um, and, and I think my dad had a lot to do with that. Well, I was really scared in the beginning. Um, didn't really know what to expect, being my first year. Um, but I realized that, that my students are just kids. They're just kids. Um, and sometimes they make mistakes, like, like everybody does. Um, and the important thing is to, to understand that every day is a new day. And that's, that's the beauty of teaching. Every day you can start over. Coaching soccer is, was something I always wanted to do. It's a little difficult sometimes coaching um, high school kids because I know what I want for them but sometimes um, they, don't, they don't know what they want for themselves yet. And so being a student athlete is different than being um, a soccer player on, on a different team, on like a club team. Because being a student athlete, you not only have to make it a practice and, and, and do all that and play, but you also have to make sure you get it done in the classroom. And, and I believe that's, a, that's something that we're still learning how to do. We're still learning how to be a student athlete. Um, but, but we're getting there, and that's the frustrating part. Um, as far as goals, um, wins and losses matter to me. I want to win, but winning isn't the only thing. It's, it's definitely how we win and how we play is what I'm going to be focusing on in, in, in the year to come. Definitely how we play. And, and who we are as, as people. I want them to be mature, young, young men. I want to make sure that people come out and watch our games and, and not have to feel embarrassed about the actions that are, that are taken on the field. And that starts with myself as, as the leader of the team. Um, I need to make sure that I am aware of my actions and, and make sure that I'm a role model and leader for my kids. I think it imp it's impacted me in life. I think it, it really has. Um, whether whether I, I wanted that or not, it did. Kind of um, 
who I am, the color of my skin, where I grew up, um, impacted who I am and imp impacted the way, the way people see me and the, and the way people, pe people judge me. Um, in college, it was, it was definitely a learning experience because here, where I grew up, everybody's the same. You know, we all kind of look the same. We all talk the same. We all eat the same foods. Um, and going away, it was different. I was, I was the black sheep. I was a different person um, in the in the group in the crowd. Um, so um, that that kind of affected me in the beginning. It was it was kind of a bad thing I thought, um, but then it, it kind of turned into a blessing and and people got to, to understand me and where I come from. Um, and it's very important to understand it's not, it's not where you come from, it's, it's where you're going and where you want to be. <sighs> Advice for, for adolescents now, I, I, I tell my students to enjoy their time with their family. Um, you never know when your family's going to go or, or when, you, when you leave. You know, a lot of us a lot of you guys might be going away to college, um, and that relationship with your parents is going to be over the phone. Maybe you'll see them once or twice a year, um, and you can't really get that time back from when you when you when you're younger and you have that time with your family. I know as an adolescent, um, I don't know. Maybe for, for me, I never wanted to be seen with my parents. I, w I don't know if I was embarrassed with my parents, but I just never wanted to be seen with them. I thought that was that was not cool. You know, to like, oh, if your parents drop me off over here on the corner so I can walk. <laughs> Come on, I don't, you know. Um, but my advice I have for, for you guys is, is to enjoy your time with your family and, and get to know your, your background and your history. I think that's important. My dad always talked about all the things he used to do and the history of, of our family. And, and I never really paid attention, you know, growing up, never paid attention. And now that's that's the majority of what our conversations are about now that I'm older, now that I want to know and understand. Um, we talk a lot about our history. Hi, I'm Corin Robles. I'm Dylan Santiago. And I'm Ashley Luna. Hi, I'm Perla Cervantes. I'm Julio Cervantes. 